today I wanted to make a tutorial, quick tutorial on how to create a clipping plane inside of DesignX. Um, so the first thing you're going to do once you open DesignX is click over to the Live Capture uh, tab. And the clipping plane typically uh, applies to portable CMMs. Right, so there are some other outlier devices that might have the same concept behind it, but clipping planes usually are I have an arm of some sort and I either probe a clipping plane or scan a pr clipping plane, and then that way it automatically crops out the table or whatever's underneath of the part. Um, so that's the concept of the clipping plane. Most people understand that already, but I'm just laying that out there in case you don't understand. Um, so the easiest way that to remember that I tell people to create a clipping plane is to go ahead and just go straight into the live capture. Uh, make sure it's set for scan, laser scanning, and then come down to use clipping plane. And then you hit this capture plane option. Now the capture plane option, I'll show that in a second here. So I have the part sitting on the table capture plane option is I'm going to scan the plane that the part is on, hit the red button, it creates a plane for me, and if you scroll down on the left hand side, this is kind of hard to see, right, but there's a scroll button on this, or a scroll button on the side. Make sure to add an offset distance. Here I used 0.1. You can use, uh, in inches, I tend to use like 30, 40 thousandths, right? Um, so it just depends on like what units you're in, but add an offset. So it's going to offset the table up. So it makes sure it deletes everything under because the tables are wavy and everything. But once you do that, once you double check and make sure that that is not set to zero, because that's what it's set for by default. After you hit the red button on capture plane, you're ready to scan. And you'll see that the plane is on screen. And you'll see that my point one wasn't really enough. Or I should have just scanned around the thing so it gets a little bit better. But you see how not a big deal here. But you see on this side, it's, uh, it's popping up, the table is. So now if I just hit the red button and then go down to exit live capture, you'll see that it did crop it on the front side, but it didn't crop it on the back side. So just to repeat those steps one time, I'm just going to start a new file and I'll do it a little bit better this time so you can see, but I like to repeat the steps so you can see how the scanned plane was done. So I come in, make sure it's on laser, say use clipping plane, hit capture plane. And this time I'll do it a little bit better. Or I'll like kind of go around the part. Captured the plane. And like I said, I always double check. If you key in a number, this should be persistent. It should remember the number that you had last time. But after I hit the red button, it's ready to, it creates the plane and it's ready to scan, which is not intuitive. People don't realize that it, there's nothing else you have to do. It just creates a plane. And it jumps over to scanning. So there. And then exit live capture. So that is how to do a clipping plane with a scan plane. Now I'll do a new file. And we'll come over to live capture. And instead of going right into live capture, I'm going to come over to live geometry and select reference planes. And we're going to probe the table. And this is, you see how this is a little easier to go all the way around and you're getting a more accurate, uh, a more accurate plane. Now, one difference here is if you want to get out of live geometry, you keep hitting the red button. It doesn't get you out. You have to click on this checkbox. So now we're out of the live geometry, come over to live capture. And you see that that plane, that probed plane, is available here. So I come over to Use Clipping Plane. And by default, it should automatically highlight that plane. But you can use your mouse 
and you click on this position in normal and you can click on different planes but by default it should grab that last plane that you probed but you have to click over here in this reference plane window which is not intuitive but you can then select that and now you are ready to scan so that is how you probe a plane probe a clipping plane to save you a little bit of cropping time later right so that is the process of creating clipping planes inside of design x i hope this is helpful i know i get this question quite often so i think it should be thanks a lot mm -hmm.